Hey guys, welcome back to Coach's Corner. This week we're talking pull kick propulsion test and how to apply that to our workout sets uh, in the pool. So when we're talking pull kick propulsion test, this is gonna be a ratio of our upper body power to our lower body power. Okay, so it's gonna involve two assessments and we're gonna find that ratio. I recommend that you do this test while rested, so either coming off of a recovery week or even at the very beginning of your training program so that we can assess where we're at and see if anything has changed since the prior season. Okay, we're gonna go into it rested and we're gonna make sure that we rest between the two assessments. So you wanna rest for about three to five minutes between assessments just to make sure that you're getting a good, accurate reading. So for the first assessment, we are going to do a 100 yard swim as fast as you can, but the important part is that you're not kicking at all. So it's gonna be freestyle arms, but definitely no kick. So letting those legs just drag behind you, hopefully keeping the core tight to keep the legs up at the surface of the water and just kind of gliding behind you. Um, I know that's gonna be tough for some of you um, to not kick. We, we have that automatic reflex to just start kicking in the water. So really make a concerted effort to not kick and let those legs just float behind you uh, because that's going to give you an accurate upper body power, power reading. So you're going to swim that 100 yards as fast as you can and you're going to record your time in seconds. That's important. So write it down or um, keep it in your head for the next assessment. So you're going to do your rest period and then you're going to do a 50 yard kick as fast as you can and record that time in seconds as well. Typically, I recommend just using a kickboard for this assessment so you get a little bit more accurate of a reading um, and it can be a little bit more standardized instead of trying to pick do I kick on my right side or left side. So use a kickboard, just freestyle kick um, as fast as you can for that 50 yards. Now to find the ratio score, we're going to divide that 100 yard time in seconds by that 50 yard time in seconds, and this will be our pull kick propulsion score. Now normal ranges for this are going to be 1.5 to 1.7, okay? If you're over 1.7, this indicates that our upper body is a little bit weaker as it relates to our lower body when we're talking about generating power. So some of the drills we might use to target this are going to work on that catch phase of the stroke. So remember that initial pull um, as soon as the hand enters the water. So we might do drills like catch up drill where you're waiting till your one hand meets the other one before you start that pull. We may do fist swimming. So keeping a tight clenched fist as we're going through that stroke to really focus on the lats and focus on that catch phase using the forearm and the proper angle at the elbow. Those are both going to be great drills to help improve that upper body propulsion. Okay, and it's important to include these regularly so they become a habit. We develop that consistent power, that consistent strength over time. So making sure that we just don't do them for a few weeks and then forget about them. So they're important to keep doing even if you're in that normal 1.5 to 1.7 range. It's always good to include form drills, power drills to continue to improve your efficiency in the water. On the flip side, if our score is below 1.5, then this means that our lower body is a little bit weaker in that propulsion than our upper body. Um, oftentimes I see this because simply triathletes tend to just not use their kick or rely on their kick nearly as much. They're accustomed to in race day, um, conserving their leg energy a little bit um, or their leg strength a little bit. So they rely more heavily on their upper body in the race and that tends to carry over to practice as well. But it's really important to keep in mind that a lot of that power in our swimming stroke is driven by our hips um, and our, our glutes. So we want to make sure that we are still incorporating some kick drills um, and kick sets into our workouts to make sure that we're sound from a full body standpoint. So some of those drills may be kicking on our side. So one arm up straight by our ear, really focusing on engaging our obliques to keep ourselves in a nice straight line. You can even put yourself right on that black line if you're in a pool and try to challenge yourself to stay straight even while kicking on your side. 
We might also incorporate six kick and roll drill where we're taking about three strokes, then we're rolling onto our side, kicking for six kicks, and then continuing on with our freestyle stroke. Again, working on that balance in that kicking position, in that breathing position um, to stay near the surface of the water and not lose any valuable energy as we're taking that breath and, and relying a little bit more heavily on our kick in that moment. Okay, so even if you're a triathlete, it's still important to include that kick, still important to have a well-rounded freestyle stroke where we're not relying too heavily on upper or lower body and we're moving efficiently through that water. So I hope you guys are able to get out and try this assessment. Again, make sure you're well rested for it. So don't do it at the end of a swim workout or right after a hard run, bike, or swim the day before. Make sure you're going into it rested for a good accurate uh, number, good accurate ratio. And you'll be able to start to incorporate the, the best drills for you that are going to help you improve that power. So if you have any questions about how to complete the assessment or any drills that you should be doing to really benefit your upper body or lower body propulsion, go ahead and drop a comment below and I will give you some recommendations for those drills. As always, I want to thank you guys again for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys here next week at Coach's Corner.